My name is Johan Smeriel. I'm Market and Sales Manager for the global uh, market of Quicklift. And together with me, I have... Thanks, Johan. Uh, Christian Frisk, uh, the manager, Sales Manager for the Swedish market. Uh, also um, global for Sales and Product Manager for the NEO 30. Uh, during this uh, live uh, session, we have a chat function, uh, which you can place your... Um, if you have any questions regarding this... Uh, New product we will uh, reveal mm -hmm. very soon. Uh, so we'll try to answer them during this uh, event or afterwards. Less uh, than a year ago, we uh, introduced Neo30 in Stuttgart, Germany, uh, the world's first battery powered uh, lifting unit. Today, we will uh, show you a complete new uh, product in our range. Uh, with this range, is totally different from the Neo 30. With this new product, we will go into the more heavy weight area. Mm -hmm. That's correct. So uh, the Neo presented a new, new way of working with lower weights. Now we are expanding actually our product portfolio in the opposite direction, increasing our lifting capacity from 300 up to 600. So let us introduce the all the brand new QLR. 600. 600. I. You said 600 kilos, you are. I said 600 kilos, Christian. That's a new step for us. This Double. is a, yes, this is a new step uh, for us. Uh, our former por portfolio was covering all the way up to 300 kilo, uh, but now uh, with with increased demand from the market, we have decided to increase that up to 600 kilos. That's a huge step for us. Yes, it is. Why did we uh, develop this product, Iran? Do we see any new uh, market shares, any potential markets out there for just this specific product? Well, we had several requests for, for higher capacity, especially with our great powerful precision. And um, recently, the demands coming from the, mainly from the automotive industry with the battery-driven equipment uh, there was a lot of batteries that the customers wanted to handle, and in, within that field, we saw a, a, a great need for heavier lifting capacity uh, with the same great functions that we have in the quick lift. So there's the same genuine quick lift feeling? Yes, it is. So uh, the way you, you work with it, with the moving the red handle up and down, having the same uh, precision is the same in the, in the QLR 600. Uh, compared to all the other systems. So, powerful precision. Powerful precision is a very good description of yeah. the, the QLR 600i. So, you have the same uh, the other um, units we have with swivel function. Yes, it has uh, all the other technical aspects as the, the mm -hmm. other systems have with, mm -hmm. with um, uh, swivel uh, for both um, for all medias coming down to the, to yeah. the end effector. Um, perhaps we should bring in another guest, our guest to the presentation today we, we to could, explain we a little bit more about the details. Yeah. So uh, I would like to welcome our um, product development manager. Yes, my name is Niklas Johansson. I will tell you a little bit about the technical uh, setup here. We do have a motor unit up there. We also have a control box up there. That is the brain of the whole system. Going down, we have the uh, Y ropes. We have this media supply here. Going down and below here, as Johan and Christian mentioned, we have the swivel here. So if we turn the whole system around, it can continuously swivel and it can supply uh, mechanical load, of course, but also pneumatics and electrical signals going down. It's actually the same as we have for all the other equipment. Yes, but a, a much larger swivel. In this uh, lower half, we have uh, the control handle here, which uh, gives the movement up and down. And a uh, gripping device shall be built below here, and the gripping devices are normally special built for each purpose. So, so what's actually included in the, in the, the setup delivered from, from Binard? It's the motor unit and the control box, of course. The swivel here, 
all the way, way down to here. And uh, below there, there will be uh, end effector, which uh, are uh, individual. The external handle here uh, has to be shoes, and you can get them in different lengths, whatever length you want, and you can have the one or two, or actually three uh, external handles if you choose. So, so this structure here is to, to simulate an end effector? Yes, this is just for test purposes here. And uh, again, we do have all the possibilities as we have in our other range. So we can have uh, intelligent uh, inputs from sensors that can stop uh, movement, for example, or speed up the movement if that's what you like. Uh, and we have the same uh, security fun functions and in, as in the other product range. So, so, so where do you connect uh, the parameter program? Yes, you need a personal computer PC and you connect it uh, here. Uh, there's an input, uh, USB input here, and you can do all the settings and make it behave exactly as you like. Uh, one thing that we, we got request for when we developed this was to reduce the installation height. In some uh, um, shops there are the headroom is a little bit lower. So we actually managed to reduce the installation height by as much as 45 centimeters compared to our other products. Well, like close to half a meter, that's yeah. really, really good. Uh, test. Yeah. I think that's all for me. Well, thank you very much for the, for the detailed um, uh, information, yeah. Niklas. Thank you. So we won. Can I test drive it? Absolutely, Christine. I, I thought you never would ask. Thank you. Ooh, you really put on all the, the heavy weights we, we have here. But that's the real uh, genuine uh, quick lift feeling, I would say. So, you want, is it really 600 in here? This is 600 kilos, yes. Wow, that's really. And there was still the swiveling function with the uh, electricity and pneumatics. Everything was in there. All, all in here. Of course, we, we sized this up, uh, as Nick just described, because it's it's a heavy load. Um, but it's all in there, providing the same great setup, base setup that you can have for building your own end effectors. Yeah. So, you want, let me ask, what's the weight of the, this unit that can carry 600 kilos? 65 kilos. 65 kilos only for this, for the unit itself? Yeah, for the unit and also the swivel, everything down to the to the interface towards the end effector is 65. It's kilos. real light. So you are, what's the vertical range we can uh, work with? The stroke height is 1.4 meters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's real nice. Could you say something about the speed for this unit? Yes, the speed is a little bit depending on the on the on the load, but uh, you can go as fast as up to one um, 320. 160 millimeter per second. That's really great. That's fast. Yes, it is. So, how do you feel? Is it is it the same? It's a really uh, genuine, quickly feeling. So, when can I buy one? You want? Can well, I buy it now or? Well, we, as you can see here, we are we are actually still in our R and D uh, research and development department doing the final tuning on the on the on the equipment. Yeah. As you can see the. The structure is a bit rough still, but it will be ready for sale uh, already now, and we can start to deliver uh, first of October. First of October. First of October this year, yes. Wow, that's pretty soon. That's quite soon, yeah. yeah. Sure. So, moving into 600 kilos, that's a milestone for us, I would say. Yes, it's it's very good. It's uh, it's the next step. So we're actually expanding our range quite uh, quite a lot. Yeah, really, really interesting. So, do we have uh, any? Uh, yeah, let's see. Do we do we get any questions from the from the chat? Nothing so far. Nothing so far. Um, uh, you had one from an email there. Uh, you had one from the vertical uh, range again. Mm -hmm. That was yes, 1.4 meters. 1.4 meters. So that's, uh, yes. Quite quite good. It Speed is. Speed was 160. Correct. And it could capacity was 600 kilos. 600 kilos. Yeah. 600. Yeah. And more detailed information, as, as we have in our um, product leaflets, will be available on our, our website um, later today or, or um, tomorrow by the latest. 
so you can download and go in and um, and check. Um, I would say you want again. I would just want to mention the the speed we have. Yes. There's something you can say in one about uh, when we have up and down movement in 160 millimeters. Yes, this is actually the fastest speed on the market uh, at this uh, lifting capacity with this precision. Yeah, the powerful. The powerful precision, precision. right, right. Yeah. So again, that's uh, 600 kilo, so fastest on the market. Sensitive handle. Yeah. The extension of your human, your human arm. Yeah. Yeah. Really great. So, uh, you have something to add? If Niklas doesn't have something to add, this. Uh... No, I'm, I'm really looking forward to starting to push this product on the on the market, and I think there will be a lot of other new applications also uh, that will be interesting now when we have this uh, increased lifting capacity. Yeah. A new market for the Binar Quickly family, I would say. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So we'll probably bump into some new. Really interesting cases mm -hmm. forward. For sure, for sure. Very good, uh, Christian. I think uh, that's uh, that wraps it up pretty good. Yeah. Um, if we have any ex external questions, they could come to Niklas, to you, from me, or yeah. your local. Yeah, either you can contact us directly or you contact your local uh, supplier for, for um, uh, more information. Yeah. And with this, we'd like to wrap it up and also take the opportunity to wish you all a nice uh, warm summer sunny summer sunny summer for sure and um, well stay safe yeah stay safe out there and, and uh, uh, keep up a good job yeah Thank thanks you. for joining bye -bye. us bye bye